<laughs> Sam, did you see what just happened? You guys are not gonna believe this. The first cast when I was doing the test. Guys, we got something fun planned today. I got a new little toy to play with. This is, for, for a fisherman it's fun, but for a videographer who's a fisherman it's even more fun. This is called the Go Fish Cam. They sent me this a long time ago. I said, hey, if you, if you wanna try it out, give it a shot, let us know what you think. This camera basically you can attach to your fishing line. This is, this is not a promo, I just, I thought this would be a really good thing to do with this camera. Anyways, I'm gonna tie this onto my rod. I'm gonna tie a lure on the end and we're gonna try to catch a, a strike while I'm casting this camera. It's a castable camera. I have a 7.9 heavy action rod. This is a, an umbrella rig rod, an A rig rod. It's like a big swim bait rod. We got 40 pound braid. I want pretty heavy braid because I don't want to lose this camera. This actual camera I've heard is like rated to 1200 pounds or 1500 pounds or something. Our goal is to catch a smallmouth bass and I thought what would be a good lure to put behind this and and if a lure has too much kicking action it, it could shake the camera as well so I'm like let's do something that tracks through the water really easily that you can work slowly and that you can work at different depths and should be able to catch smallmouth. So you guessed it the hair jig. So next I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a piece of line off the back probably a one foot, two foot section. And then I'm gonna use the app. There's actually an app that I downloaded so I can see the screen, I can see what it looks like. I'll do a couple practice casts to show you guys. And then we're gonna give this to Sam. We're gonna go fish this shoreline, which is supposedly stacked with smallies. Shout out to Jason and Finn, a couple uh, viewers, couple fellow fishermen that we just passed on the water. And they said, hey Jay, if you wanna catch some smallies, check out the shoreline. So enough talking, let's get the rest of this rigged up and see if Sam can make it happen. I uh, picked a smaller jig so it floats in the column a little bit more. I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't know if the smallies are gonna be scared by the camera or attracted to the camera, but that's the deal right there. Go fish cam, foot and a half of 10 pound fluoro, and then the custom tied hair jig. I'm wearing my Florida shirt. I'm feeling warm, feeling the vibes, feeling the sun. And uh, yeah, things are good. All right, we're recording. This is our test shot. Sam, did you see what just happened? Can you can you turn this towards me? Hold the camera. That was dumb. <laughs> you guys are not gonna believe this. The first cast when I was doing the test, I'll show you guys the clip. Guys, we had a fish following the camera and finishing the, following the bait on, I, I'm just losing my mind. On the first cast, or smallmouth following it. Guys, shout out to Tobin Outdoor Showcase for telling us where the bass are. Uh, I'm gonna link their channel below. They're, uh, they're getting some credit for this. Anyways, here's the rig. Sam, do you wanna try to catch one? Okay. All right, this is it. Sam's gonna try to cast it now. I think a slow retrieve's gonna be the deal. We're just gonna stay anchored here. All right, Sam. Casting the camera. Smooth movements. Huh? Cast out there. <sighs> Keep the rod high and then just crank it slow. No twitching or anything. Oh, it's not recording right now. Reel it in quick. Reel it in quick. I forgot to, I forgot to press record. <laughs> I forgot to press record. Don't catch a fish. Whatever you do, do not catch a fish. Videographer of the year over here. Just off the point here. You're a little faster than before. This is the ultimate Sam cam. A little slower. So that lure is a little bit deeper. Yeah, that's perfect. Keep the rod lower now. Okay, keep reeling. You did so good. Isn't that sweet? Keep reeling. A little slower near the boat. Our first cast was the best so far. You don't know that. <laughs> we could have a thousand fish on these casts. You got one? Keep reeling, keep reeling. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. We might have one, just be gentle. We got a fish, Sam. Lift. Oh, that was so easy. We did it. That was so easy. Can All we right. see what it looks like now? Yeah, we can watch it. We caught a little smallie, and we're hoping that we got the strike on our little camera. 
So good. All right, let's unhook and put it back, baby. And we will review the footage. Nice leak of the wood, Smalley. We've taken like three casts and there's been fish. We're, we're gonna watch the footage right now and we will play it back for you guys. In three, two, one. All right, we have already had success, but we are gonna, we're trying for more, Sam. We're gonna have just a highlight reel of smallmouth chasing. We watched back the one clip and it was just silly how many fish followed it. It's like the coolest footage ever. A little slower. Then get that rod lower as you get close. Yeah, cause those fish, those smallies like to fall right to the boat. And it's cool that even though they didn't eat it, yeah. they were just nudging at it. That's encouraging. Yeah, totally. Well, another thing I want to do maybe eventually is put hooks on the camera and try to actually like have the fish eat the camera because those smallmouth were hitting at the camera. How cool is that? Smallmouth are such curious fish. Oh. Yeah. Oh, something big followed. Something, oh, look at that. Is that a pike or a musk? That looked like a walleye. Like you could tell it was a fish, but it didn't like. There's one. Look at that. Musky! <gasps> oh, oh, a musky! Oh. We got a musky. This is insane. Oh my goodness, a musky. <laughs> this could not go any better with this camera. Muskies are not in season yet. We are going to keep this fish in the water. This is absolutely insane. I just had a musky eat. We got the strike. Look at this. You're, you filming, Sam? Oh man, I can't wait to see this footage. We got everything following. We've taken like six casts. Muskie's open in a couple weeks, so we're gonna unhook this fish in the water and not mess with him at all. <laughs> all right, guys. Look at that little nice baby muskie lean over the side here. Look at that perfect little muskie. I cannot wait for muskie season to open. And there she goes. Guys, we are just stacking the footage. I, I'm just giddy. This is cool. I'm gonna be using this thing more. And it seems like it's built really well. Like, it, most likely what would happen is this floral leader would break, but I'd never want to lose a camera, so I'd always put heavy braid to it. I don't know what to say. It's just so cool. It's just cool that when we watch the footage later, we're going to see what followed and didn't eat, and it'll be just a, a learning experience. Because obviously there's cool footage, but you can learn, you know, what triggered the fish. If you're using a crankbait, you can see if it hitting off the stump is what triggered the fish or hitting off the rock. So, I mean, this is a learning tool as well. There we go. Finally on the cam. Ooh, it's fighting. You want a net? Yeah. We did it, Sam. Nice big smallie with the go fish cam. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Do you want me to lift him up? Uh, no, you can just let him chill. I'll, I'll get you to get the vlog cam. That's all I'm good for. Alrighty, guys. That's a pretty nice smallmouth. I am so excited to look at this footage. This was, I think, the perfect lure for it. I think a hair jig, because it's not gonna give too much action to the camera. That is a chunky mama. All right, I'm just gonna toss that guy back quick. I'm gonna show you a little more about the camera. Um, th this is my first time using it. I used it one other time trying to capture some like underwater B-roll, but basically the cap comes off the back here. And then you've got your main switch, a micro SD. I put a 64 gig in here. And uh, I, would, I would say the only downside of this camera so far um, is that it's an internal rechargeable battery. So you probably have half an hour battery life. You would have to have a charger on board, which isn't a big deal. I could just plug a USB into this and charge it up. But uh, pretty cool. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily roll this all day. I'd kind of wait till you're on the fish. We were gifted a spot obviously, but uh, super cool. I think, I think we're gonna cast around a little more, but 
that's a great little afternoon on Lake of the Woods and, and some pretty cool footage. So we'll see if Sam can catch a couple more without the camera, that might be to her advantage. So this camera films, the highest frame rate it does is 60 frames per second. So that's what I'm filming all this in. So when I play it back, I can slow-mo it down to 40% of its original speed. So you do have that little slow-mo option. Obviously it's not the highest quality camera, but it's built into that, you know, little bulletproof package. I'm convinced there's a fish following me. Is that a walleye? What is that? There's something following me, something big. We will review the footage. What was that? Another muskie? Fish? Yeah. Ooh, big smallie for Sam. Sam, come step up here to the front. Ooh, big smallie. Big old brown one, Sam. Can you uh, net him? Oh, no underwater strike for that one, but still a nice, nice catch. All right, give me a look. Show me that big bass. Yes. That's a good one. That's probably close to three pounds. All right, you wanna put it back? Yep. Be free. Give me some. Is that a wrap? Is that a wrap? What do you Who gotta knows? tell the viewers? Who knows? What? What do you gotta tell the viewers? Thanks for watching. And? Wear your life jackets.